The purpose of these coatings is to make a rugged, super hydrophobic film. That is, a film which will repel water to such an extent that when you try and put water onto the surface, it will actually form a ball or a marble type shape. Those marble type shapes help the surface to self-clean. And they do that by acting as a miniature vacuum cleaner or a miniature Dyson. And the way in which that works is if you have any dust or bacteria or viruses on the super hydrophobic surface and you pour water across the surface, then the water will act as a little miniature spinning device. And as it spins down the, the surface, it picks up the dust, the bacteria and the virus and helps to shed them across the surface. The big stumbling block of these super hydrophobic surfaces and one which has limited their commercialization by man but hasn't limited the way nature has used them is the fact that in nature the surfaces which are super hydrophobic like the lotus plant they tend to be very resistant to abrasion but man-made surfaces tend to be very easily abraded even to the point that sometimes you can just blow on the surface and blow the material off. So enabling our material to actually stick to the surface, we're making them mechanically strong, which is, as is unusual for super hydrophobic or we can call it super water repellent coatings. And the advantage is, is that because we stick it to these surfaces, whether it's glass or paper or material, it means that the super hydrophobic action will be uh, retained. So the inspiration is from the scotch tape I use a scotch tape to adhere the glass substrate and, and spray the surface, but I find the glass substrate, the pen on glass substrate is quite fragile, but on the scotch tape is quite robust. So I thought if I can use double-sided tape or spray adhesive, it will be robust and we can apply a commercial adhesives um, in almost all the solid substrate and our paint as well. So we can try to make all the, almost, the solid substrate to be robust and super hydrophobic. 